Hey guys, welcome to another quick tip tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you magnetic stretch markers. I don't remember who showed me this trick. I saw it on the Reaper forum, but it's a great way of aligning transients on multiple tracks without snapping to grid, without hard quantizing things. This works on percussion instruments, background vocals. It's a great way of lining things up. So I'm going to play a little section of the song um, where I've got hand claps along with drums, and they're kind of just chaotic. They're not lined up the way they should be. So they're kind of all over the place. And I don't want them exactly lined up, but uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, that's what I'm going to do. So I've made a time selection and item selection around this group of stretch markers. As you can see, they're scattered all over the place. None of them are on the grid line. I'm going to grab the one that's uh, pretty much the last one in the group. I'm going to slowly drag this, and you can see as the cursor reaches the next stretch marker, it's going to add it to the selection, and they're all going to move together now. So I can just kind of eyeball that on the grid line. This one looks like it's the furthest one out. And grab that. You can go back and forth until it catches. As I said, this works on percussion tracks like these hand claps. It works on layered background vocals really well. So you can get the heads and tails and all the consonants lined up correctly on a background vocal or on a stack of background vocals. So let's play that back now with these, uh, these five layers lined up. I think that's better, but now that I have these lined up, I might, I might just go ahead and shift them a little bit. You know, maybe a global shift of that much there, this much there, once they're all lined up, could be exactly what we need. Or maybe even less. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that technique of the magnetic stretch markers. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the new tutorials, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.